Hello everyone, it's Reverend Geraint. Lots of you are learning things from home at the moment, so I wondered whether today you would like to learn three things with me. Firstly, we learn some Welsh, some geography, and then finally some Welsh history, all rolled into one. So today is Dydd Santes Doinwen, Dydd Santes Doinwen, which means Saint Doinwen's Day. And Saint Doinwen was the patron saint of lovers in Wales, which makes her the Welsh equivalent of Saint Valentine, and we celebrate Valentine's Day on the 14th of February. So who was Doinwen? Doinwen lived in the 5th century, and legend says that she was one of the prettiest of Brychyn Brycheiniog's 24 daughters. Doinwen fell in love with a prince called Maelon, but unfortunately, her father had already arranged that she should marry somebody else. And Doinwen was so upset that she couldn't marry Mylon that she begged God to make her forget him. And after she fell asleep that night, Doinwen was visited by an angel. And the angel brought a sweet portion designed to erase all memory of Mylon and turn him into a block of ice. And God then gave Doinwen three wishes. And first, out of compassion, she wished that Mylon should be thawed. Secondly, she wished that God would meet the hopes and dreams of all true lovers, and this is why she became the Welsh patron saint of lovers. And third, and finally, she wished that she should never marry. And God granted all three of these wishes, and as a mark of her thanks, Dunwyn devoted herself to God's service for the rest of her life, and she became a nun. She founded a convent in Llanddwyn, just off the west coast of Anglesey. And I wonder how many of you know where Anglesey is? Well, it's in North Wales and it's an island. So on the map now, you should see a map of Wales on the screen. And I wonder if you can point to where you think Anglesey is. It's in the north of Wales and it's on the west side. So here, we have Anglesey. So in this place where Doinwen founded her convent, there is a special well. A well which became a place of pilgrimage for people after Doinwen's death in the year 465 AD. Well, it's become very popular to celebrate St Doinwen's Day today. And this has increased considerably in the last few years. So we don't need to wait until St Valentine's Day in Wales to make our love known to someone. We can say, Duin de Garidi, Duin de Garidi, I love you, today, to someone that we love on St Doinwin's Day. Dith Santes Doinwin. So I hope you all have a really lovely St Doinwin's Day. Happis Dith Santes Doinwin. And I hope that you've learned some new things today. We've learned some Welsh words. We've learned where Anglesey is. And we've learned some Welsh history as we've learned about where St Doinwyn lived and her story, um, the story of her life. So I hope that you've enjoyed this, uh, this time of learning together. Down in the description of this video, there's another link to a video about St Doinwyn, which my brother, Mr John, who is learning to be a teacher, has put together and if you like learning in a visual way then click down on that video and you can learn some more about Saint Doinwin. And that's all for today so I hope that you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you again soon. Bye!